As I was getting up, I looked up and I spotted this. Oh my goodness. Look at that beauty. shopping I am looking for not a new piece of furniture but a piece of furniture that kind of goes with already the antique furniture pieces that I have in my living room something I can put my TV on so I am at a consignment store to see what I can find and sometimes they have things that are good to well, flip and make a profit on so I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that as well but really, I'm hoping I can find my dream piece of furniture in here. So I'm gonna bring you along with me, let's go. Got lots of outdoor furniture still out here, but that is not something I need, although, boy, that would be nice. That would be really fun to have at the party. Ooh, that is like almost $2,000. Okay, never mind. let's go. All right, this place has a lot of stuff in it, so I'm just gonna go back over to this corner over here and, uh, see we got I think this is a lot of bedroom stuff over here I'm not opposed to like using a dresser if it has the right look so oh I love that look at that headboard look at this bedroom set kind of thing going actually no it doesn't go with the bedroom set it's it's just that headboard okay that was a squirrel Let's keep looking. All right. Nothing that I'm looking for just yet, but now we got like some sitting room furniture here. So maybe we'll find something. I got some nice Christmas music going while we shop. I think this is more bedroom furniture. So I think my best bet is to keep going this way and see what we got. All right, goodness. Um, boy, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed with all this stuff. All right, let's go. I had to come in and use the restroom and I could not resist sharing with you guys uh, this really cool bathroom. Look at a bicycle turned into a vanity. And then they got like an old barn door here and it's just so industrial. Look, even the toilet paper holder is like a pipe. And you got these really cool shelves and the things in here are for sale too. But I just, <laughs> all right, check out the little boy. Check out the little boy in this. No, really, look, look at his face. <laughs> I love that so much. I kind of like this piece right here. It's it's like leather wrapped. It's made by Mark David. It's got like the cupboards like I want. It's got some drawers. Don't know if it exactly fits my little area, so I'm going to keep looking. But I know I'm getting closer now to what I'm looking for. I know it's gotta be, oh look, this looks promising. Everything back here is kinda low, so. I mean, it's tables. But, maybe, maybe, tucked back in here, these are all desks. Dining room sets, hmm. It would be kind of like a buffet. So, if I can find where kind of like the buffets are, I think that would work. Oh, that's really, that's a really pretty piece. Look at that. Oh, really like that. I do love furniture. Love furniture. And I don't like all the new, you know, kind of like the Ikea, Wayfair, slap it together, mail order stuff. It's to me, I grew up in an era where that just isn't furniture. That's a piece of furniture right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, darn it, it's on hold. It's on hold because I do 
Oh, I want to find something like that. I want to find something like that. So, if there's one, there's got to be more. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to film down this row, but I'm going to come look at all these. Okay, she's getting me a price on this one. It's not exactly what I want, but it would definitely work. And it's kind of got, it would, it would mesh. I could change out these handles. I mean, they're just screwed on there, so let's see what she comes back with. Well, I found it's not quite perfect. It's not quite perfect, but it's very functional and the price was right. It was only, what was it? It was marked down to $3.99. So they're going to deliver it. Actually, it was marked down to $2.99 and the delivery fee brings it up to $3.99. So $400, I've got the piece of furniture that I need to get my TV into a different location and... Uh, we're on our way and I can store all our family games. So now I'm off to Goodwill. Let's go. Okay, I'm at Goodwill. And I actually had forgotten about this Goodwill. I used to come to this one all the time. And I don't know why it just kind of got dropped from my regular routine. So haven't been here for months. So this could be fun. This could be exciting. Let's go in and let's see what we can find. Let's get shop done. Open, open, open. Let's go. Let's go for that lucky cart. Starting in the metals today. Let's see. Oh, these things are so cool. You know what? Two bucks. I'm grabbing those. Okie dokie. Those are for personal use. I'm not reselling those, obviously. Um, but those are great for moving furniture around and stuff. Oh my goodness, that is heavy. Look at that, it's got, it's made with nails. It's all made with nails. That's, it's kind of cool. Very industrial. I don't know, there's something about that. Super intriguing, I think on Cherish. This might do really well, so for that reason, I'm gonna pick it up for $7. Oh, maybe just haven't seen that really industrial bathroom that I was just in has got my mind kind of thinking just a little bit different about decor choices and I have to look at the metals from the eyes of those who love the metals so there we go oh this is an oldie but I'm gonna leave it I know there's probably like a thousand and one uses for that but and these too, like these are very, these are very, um, a little past mid-century, more into like the 70s, kind of that Renaissance, Mediterranean, Gothic kind of decorating. Um, there's, I'm really, <laughs> all right, wait a minute. I know I said I was not gonna do it, but <laughs> look at, there's two of them and they are super cool and they are only $3 each. All right, I'm gonna grab them. As I was getting up, I looked up and I spotted this. Oh my goodness. Look at that beauty. <gasps> $9.99. That's heavy duty. Beautiful, gorgeous, large wall vase. Yes, please. And then I look over here and I spot this guy. Oh my goodness, I love him. They put corks in him. He does not have to hold corks, but maybe that's his purpose is to hold corks because he's got a hole on the top. He's a, got a little boo-boo right there. Actually, it's kind of made that way. All right, for $6, I am grabbing the snail. You guys know how I love my garden lizards, and this one is new in the package for $7, so uh, he's coming with me. I'm kind of changing up which rows I go down based on how many people are shopping. I just spotted this for $3.99. Does have one little little flea bite right there, but that doesn't bother me at all. This goes with my decorating on the patio, which is gonna get set up this week. So there we go, into the cart. And let's see what other goodies we can find on these really fun shelves. Oh, those are colorful. What are they though? Are they 
that's what I thought. They are, well, are they all turtles? I think they're all turtles. Oh my gosh. It was meant to be for me to come to this store tonight. It's a little conglomeration of stuff, but there's turtles in there. And it's only a dollar ninety-nine. Peeking down on this bottom shelf, seeing what might be hiding down here are some fruit. She's interesting. Uh, it's ceramic fruit. Eh, I don't need any more fruit right now. I don't need it, but I see a Department 56 Village Accessories. Ice, Crystal Gate, and Walls. How much do they want for this? They want $2.99. So I'm just going to take a quick peek. Make sure nothing's broken, but it's Department 56. I don't even need to look that up for $3. That's going to be like a no-brainer as long as everything's in good shape. So it is missing two of these guys, and it's missing a flag oops, off of one of these. But I think there's enough other stuff in here that the $3 is still making it a no-brainer. I just found this cool little creamer on the shelf. He's $1.49. He's very detailed. He looks a lot like the one I just sold in my live sale last Friday, which was a Tony Woods. I'm not saying it is. I'll have to peel that. But for $1.49, you know, I'll, I'll take it and clean it up and look at it later. All right. So far, I am having fun. Okay. You guys always say, pick these up, pick these up. Um, this one is signed. It is Costa Boda. It's the Costa Boda Snowball candle holder, so I am going to grab that. I saw one, remember, the other day, if you watch my videos, but I will tell you that one was not signed. Uh, so that made me a little hesitant to get that one. can always find more of those, though. I'm looking, just kind of see what's grabbing my eye, like this piece here. Pretty orange swirl, but it's... I can tell just by the feel it's contemporary and it's nothing, you know, really super outstanding. <gasps> oh, I like this little dome. I'm going to grab that. And I see what would make some really good mushroom toppers back there. So I'm about ready to do that project again. So I'm going to grab those. This little kitty actually feels like plastic not glass. Those are some sort of little ice cube. Hi! <laughs> Oops. Let's see if I can get those out. I just spotted, or actually a, a viewer just spotted me. So, caught me in the act. So, let's see. Oh, that. I don't want to forget that. Look at this cute little rocking chair up here. It's like a doll chair. Let's see who that's made for. It's got a tag. This is not a toy. Well, what else is it if it's not a toy? Come on. Uh, doesn't say who makes it. It's just really cute. Dolls and things are not really my thing, so I'm gonna leave it, but that is a really cute chair. I just found me one of these little birds. He's a he's a shaker. He's always missing his partner, but these are usually Japan or Czechoslovakia. I'm leaning toward this one being Japan. Yep, that's impressed in there. I don't know if you can see it. No, this one actually says, does it say made in England? Okay, now he's like a mystery piece, but for 69 cents, he can be my mystery. Okay, I was sitting here rearranging all these salt and peppers, and I had another viewer said, are you the niche lady? And I said, did my rearranging the shelves give it away? And he said, yes. <laughs> so yeah, I was kind of doing a little rearranging. And in doing that, look what I found. I found my little guy's friend. Oh, now I see, it does say made in Japan. Okay, Oop, that did not focus well, did it? There it goes. Ah, so he does had his little friend and that one's also 69 cents so that means oops let me show you what they look like as a set like that and then i also found another one of these battery operated candles i love these 
Uh, it's the flameless candle. You see in there, it just needs a battery. This is just $1.49. And I found a tiki mug. Probably not worth a whole ton, but it's Big Kahuna Week Father's Day Extravaganza on some channel. For $1.99, I'm gonna give that one a try. And I almost forgot to show you these. Uh, this is a set of horse bookends for $5.99. I'm getting enough of these that Rachel might let me sell some. All right, let's dig back in here and see what other cute things, you know, that's just an adorable bank. It's $1.49, springs around the corner. Just because of all the nice painted butterflies and the quality of the porcelain on this, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Then I'm gonna take a peek at these interesting little candle holders, but I think someone just embellished them for, oh look, 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 look. This is the same shape. Oh, it's $3.99 though. It's the same shape as the orange one over here. Was this one? Oh, $3.99 also. So yeah, that's why we're leaving those. I might've been tempted now with a pair that went together. Oh, let's see. The old red barn trivet. That's really kind of cool. How much are you, old red barn trivet? $2.99. It is vintage. It is made in Japan. I'm going to grab that. Look at this little guy hiding back here. He's got a little bobble head. You know, he's not the greatest quality, but he's only 69 cents. And he is a rhinestone indoor adorned turtle. Okay, this chicken is a little interesting as he's all made of fruits. Look at bananas, cherries, strawberries. Oh, there's corn under there. Grapes. Interesting. I don't know who makes him, but come on, $2.99. Who doesn't want a fruit chicken? Let's go. All right, this is going to be a really good wrap up to my day. I'm excited. I talked about this as I, it's Monday and I filmed my live show today, which I do every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Um, but we talked about, as I dig under here and see what this bowl is, I talked about giving yourselves credit for wins in your day. Just rewarding yourself, celebrating when you get a lot of stuff done or get anything done for that matter. And uh, he's really cute, but he's super heavy, so I'm gonna leave him. Uh, but you gotta give yourselves a win. So I'm really kind of celebrating my wins today because I feel really good about everything I got done. Okay, look at these kitty cats. This is hand-painted Joan Baker Designs. A little kind of a piece of stained glass with kitty cats. Now I know I have enough kitty cat lovers that this will do really well in my live sale, so I'm gonna pick it up. Here's an interesting little pottery. I think that's supposed to be a cat now that I look at it. I thought it was a bear at first, but nope, nope, that's definitely a cat. Pottery craft made in USA for 99 cents, so I will grab that. All right, let's see. Well, we got more, more salt and peppers. Here, let's put you over by your salt and pepper friends over here. So the salt and pepper lovers can find you. This is an interesting piece, but I don't think it's anything special. And, oh, oh my goodness. Look at all of the turtles I am finding on the shelf today. I will rescue this guy for $2. Of course I will. I don't understand this. What am I missing? I'm sure it says something underneath there, but I don't understand it. Somebody help me. I see a really, not that, I see a really neat um, water globe and it's clear. Usually you find them there, like they're, the water's all schmooged. It's a carousel. As you can see, I'm getting the glitter stirred up here. It hasn't been stirred up for a while. It's $12.99 though. So this would be one I'd have to look up. It's the San Francisco Music Box Grand Victorian Limited Edition. 
So let me just take a peek and see what that's going for. Okay, I'm gonna tell ya, the first search I did using Water Globe didn't bring up results and I just about passed on this and then I thought, you know, let me put in carousel and I got totally different results and found out that this is selling for as high as $225. So we will put that in the cart. I do love the carousel that was sitting right next to it, but I almost said sadly and unfortunately at the same time. Unfortunately, sadly, whatever you want to call it, it uh, has a broken off horse. So that one is a no-go. What is this little guy? A little fire alarm miniature. I don't know. I don't know. I'll we'll leave it. All right, this looks like an old piece of pottery. It is, it is Hager. Now this isn't a super expensive piece of Hager, but this is a fantastic mid-century design for $2.99. We'll pick that up. I'm starting to think other people have forgotten that this store is here because holy moly, we are just finding the goods. Oh, sadly, that's chipped, but I'm still gonna bring him over here to his little mate. So that they can be together. There you go. And we will come. He was way down here on this shelf. Oh, is this another piece? Nope, that one is not for food use marked, so that is a newer piece. But I do see a piece of glass. Oh, but the handle has been broken and taped, sadly. That's like a piece of chalet back there. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I hate when that happens. We've got an American bison, or commonly known as a buffalo. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that piece of glass. I might actually keep that one. I mean, it's nothing super expensive, but it's strikingly beautiful. And I just heard gray is half price, so it's only a buck fifty. I'll take that. These are the shelves that just keep on giving. Put you over here, cutie. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, I love him. He's not priced. I'm sure they'll give me a good price. I gotta get him. Got some. Oh, I thought some. There's one clock. I thought that was a clock too, but it's not. It's a uh, candle holders in the box. Here is one of those old trivets, and I tend to pick these up, but this one has some damage. Pick them up, you wait till you have a few and sell them as a lot. He's cute. Okay, while I'm down here, I'll just crawl along the floor and come over here to the bottom of this shelf and start looking. Looks like they got Easter starting to come out and some Valentine's. I guess Valentine's comes first, right? Gotta start thinking about it. I hate to say it as a retailer. That's what we are, guys. We're retailers. And uh, we gotta be thinking about it. Because that needs to go up right after Christmas. You gotta start putting up your Valentine's stuff. I know, I know. It pains me a little too. But it is the world we live in. Doing what we do. I just fell in love with this guy. He is some yard art. He is 2002, so actually technically by Easter of next year, he'll be vintage. He's not priced either? What? Okay, we'll make sure they give us a good price on that one too. I am loving what I'm finding on these shelves. This is so cool. Frosty's baby picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was looking for like vintage decorations of any holiday. Vintage stuff always sells well. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this rabbit basket. It's $3.99. Oh, he's gray. He's only two bucks. You know what? I'm gonna grab him. And then who's this on the shelf? This is Dumbo. This is probably part of a set from like a nursery set for a kid's room. Doesn't look terribly old. So we'll leave that. And then give me an H. 
Or is it an N? I can't quite tell. Queen of the laundry. I try not to be that. I try to make my children participate in the laundry function. It's working pretty good. Everybody's doing really good kind of teamwork in it at the house right now. And I don't say that often enough to uh, give the kids credit for pitching in. Sometimes you catch me in a moment where I'm frustrated because they haven't pitched in, but they're such great kids. Let's see. Showtime. Movie night. Perpetual calendar. Ooh. I kind of like that. Hmm. I would never do it, though. That's the thing. I like things, and I go, I would never do it. I would never keep up with it. So, those are the things I need to let go. Oh. It's missing its bottom, but oh. Oh, that's missing its bottom, too. Um, it almost looks like a salesman sample piece, doesn't it? I know it could be used for a doll, but just because it's a piece of furniture, I think it's meant to be a salesman sample. This is wood. This is a wood plate. It is, oh, looks like it's Russian, I'm going to say. It's $3.99. I think I will pick that up. Oh, the amount of cool stuff in this store tonight. This is awesome. Farm fresh, locally grown produce. This is a shame. This would have had all of these little shell pieces and stuff and it's gotten completely demolished somewhere along the way. That's a little bit sad. And that didn't happen on the shelf, so honestly, that really should never have made it out to the shelf. Our house is lived in. It's not for show. If you don't like it, if you don't like the mess, you know where to go. <laughs> yes, I concur. Oh, this is so 80s, isn't it? With the bears and then made with the ruler. That is so 80s. All right. Oh, is that a, okay, it's a croquet stick. I'm thinking for a minute it was a gavel. I'm like, that's a really long gavel. No, it's a croquet stick. Okay, what's this? Ooh, it's a beat up jewelry box. Kitchen prayer. Are these? Oh, I thought they were mushrooms for a minute. I don't, actually, I don't know what they are. Okay, let's see. More signs. Ooh, I like the saying on this. Yes, I did. And you can too. If I didn't have you as a mom, I'd choose you as a friend. Aww. Okay, ooh. What's this? What are these? Is that a pen? Holder, what? It's, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. Oh, is this a friend to my other little cute friend? Yes, it is. This one needs his ears glued back on, but fortunately, gluing ears back on is super easy. Look, 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 look. Look at that. Now I've got the pair. All right, let's, uh, rummage through some Christmas. Oh, he is so cute. Why do they want $2.99 for him, though? Best ever. I don't think he's anything that exciting, but he's just adorable. I guess adorable deserves a bigger price, huh? We have a big piece of candy. I don't like that. Oh, look! I found another fabric tree. How much is this one? $3.99? Yes, I will take that. And what do we have on this one? Oh, we have, oh gosh, I have another piece like this tucked away 
somewhere. You know, I'm getting through all of my, starting tomorrow, I'm pulling all of my Christmas stuff out and going through it to see what can be in my Christmas live sale that's coming up on Friday. Friday's the day. And I'm going to take the uh, sugared fruit pears and pomegranates for $3.99. Yes, I am. Oh, so much Christmas stuff to look through. You know, always looking for the good German nutcrackers. And I don't believe that's these guys. Um, this little guy and the thing is interesting. Alright. I don't know how loud that music is coming through, but that's why I kind of keep chattering because... I have to be more the focus of my camera than that music is over me. That's the way I'm able to get these done. And uh, that means I have to keep talking. So I'm going to try to do that. Oh, that. Oh, it looks like a gym shore for a minute, but it's not. It's a really nice um, nativity type piece. Oh, it's a House of Lloyd. $1.99. It's really sweet. I wish we had Joseph to go with it, though. Mary really needs to have Joseph with her. Oh, look, we've got an angel. I wonder if that's the same. No, nope, this is a music box. But maybe it was the same set. But it is not. <laughs> and we're into the glasses. I don't look real hard in the glasses. You know, I just look at little standout pieces and see what they are. These look, those look vintage actually. They're plastic, but they look very vintage. Oh, it's right in front of my face and I almost walked by it. Hello, Mickey and Minnie. Wow. $7.99 though. Mm, darn. That's a little pricey because it is beat up a little bit. So I'm going to have to leave that one. <sighs> I hate that. I hate when I really, really would love to take something, but I can't because it's just condition wise it's just not just not viable <sighs> it's kind of sad all the work put into these wreaths and then uh, they just don't make it out I'm, I'm 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 kind of pulled by this one but i just i don't have any place to put it i have no place to put it and then this is a travesty this is another piece of mid-century pottery but oof that's got a really bad boo-boo. So that one has to stay on the shelf. All right, we're just gonna take a peek through the pottery and the vases and see if anything kind of stands out. This little, it's a newer piece. And they put them here by color, so you never know what's gonna get into the mix. This one caught my eye, especially with that sticker there, but it's Ikea. So, nothing else exciting on the clear glass shelves. All right, I don't know if it's like the music got louder, but it feels like it did. So, it's a definite possibility. Who is this? Oh, Sterla Hoffman. Mm, I can't remember if that's one of the good ones or not. I'm gonna leave it. That's an interesting piece. Looks a lot like Treasure Craft, but it doesn't feel like Treasure Craft. So it could just be a knockoff, or it could be, but it's okay. Even if it is, I'm okay. I'm okay with leaving things. What are these fun? Oh, look at these fake beer mugs. Those are like display pieces. Those are pretty cool. They're $5 each. I am going to look up and see if those are worth, I mean, they've got to be worth at least 15 to 20 for me to pick them up at five. Okay. These are a definite yes. I just found one that sold for $35. So that's all I need in order to put these in my cart. I also picked up this crazy morph suit for $3.99 because I saw these selling for insanely big amounts of money at Halloween time. And who knows, Noah might uh, want to wear a morph suit this next Halloween. Okay, I did scan through the clear glass, but I've got good old Adam in the background, so he always likes to give me copyright strikes, so gotta end it. Alright, let's see. Oh, those are birds. 
just realized those are cardinals. Oh. $5.99 each. They're, they're kind of they're cheaply made, but I kind of love them. But I'm going to pass because we don't even burn candles in our house. So, oh my goodness, we have some wrestling children behind me. But you know what? They keep me from getting a copyright strike. <laughs> Who makes these? Sweet little guys here. Those are, oh, I cannot see that. Oh, they're made in Indonesia. So, nothing too super special. All right, I don't see anything. Oh, we got more salt and peppers over here. Oh, he's chipped. Cool cats. And then there's hippos. And then there's these little margaritas. That Well, that one looks like a margarita. I don't know about that one. Cows, but nothing. Nothing too great. Oops. Just put you over here with your other salt and pepper friends. This is Avon. Don't pick these up. Don't try to sell these. We got some little Pokemon guys. And I don't see anything else on this shelf that we can't live without. All right, we are running through the dishes. Oh, that's been through the dishwasher. Oh, I'm not seeing anything calling to me. This looks like Stangle. It is. Stangle, unfortunately, has gone way, way down in value. So I just don't pick it up. And I, I don't understand why, because it's, it's kind of a cool pottery. I like it. Uh, but I can't collect everything I like. So Stangle does not win placement on my collectible shelves. Oh, this is so cool. A competitor is considered to have fallen when he is separated from his horse, which has not fallen. <laughs> that is vintage, that is cool. That is $4.99 and that is going in my cart. That is a big giant pottery tray that looks like a hobbyist piece. Yep, sure is, Christmas 2003. I can tell that because it's not quite uh, what do you call it? Evenly circular. There we go. There's an interesting idea to do with ties. Make them into a flower art. I found two pieces of linen. Well, not two. I guess, yeah, two pieces of linen. Anyway, <laughs> this is a tablecloth. This is a gorgeous, large crochet tablecloth. I do see it's got a couple little stains so I'm gonna try like the oxyclean soaking thing it's only $6.99 and these uh, sell for <laughs> really good money uh, stay for the recap I'll tell you just how much money because I'll have to open it up and measure it and see kind of what size it is to know uh, a comp on that but then look at this beautiful cross stitched with butterflies also tablecloth and this one is how much how much are you you are only $4.99 so $4.99 on that one and $6.99 on that one I am gonna go check out yes I got some artificial flowers for myself because you know I do love decorating with my artificial flowers because I can't kill them so that's a pretty successful uh, cart full I would say
wow. Just wow. <laughs> that was too much fun. I uh, ran into two of my viewers and got to say hi. And uh, I don't think I have found that much stuff on the Goodwill shelves. Why, are I, why can I not get my words out? Goodwill shelves <laughs> in a very long time. Wow. I think my favorite piece was the glass uh, wall vase. That thing is spectacular. If you've stayed to this point, you saw the recap, you saw the values on everything. Let me just state that those come from actual research that I do on sold comps, not what things are listed for. I find sold comps and I don't take the top ones. I know there's many who will do that. I have no reason to inflate these prices for you, none whatsoever. I want to teach you how to find this great stuff and how to price it right. So you may find things that sold cheaper, but you will also be able to find the things that sold higher and that's what I include in my comps. I'm still, I'm, I'm just, I'm very happy right now. <laughs> also, I just wanna say, if you have watched the whole video and are to this point, thank you so incredibly much. Uh, you mean the world to me. Uh, because you are the ones who make it so I can keep doing this. Uh, and I really, really appreciate you so much. And I hope I can keep bringing out content that you love to watch all the way to the end. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.